Hey, welcome back everybody. Summer school kicked off this week for a special 10 year old little boy, but getting to class was a struggle until one hero stepped in. It all started here at the Poway Unified School District bus yard. So many buses, so few drivers. Enter father of five, Rick Danes. Welcome aboard, you ready for a great day? The proud dad saw how the driver shortage was impacting his 10-year-old special needs son, Eli, and decided to jump into the driver's seat, helping his community and getting to surprise Eli as his new bus driver. Hey! Who's driving the bus today? We gotta go! Oh, oh. All right! <laughs> Hi, Daddy! Hey, how are you? Okay, get on the bus. Are You're you ready to go? The kids yeah. late. Let's go! Hey, guess who's driving your bus? Hey, Who's driving? Eli. Eli's driving! How you doing, buddy? Let's go. Dane said it was an easy decision to take the new job, finding a solution to a problem instead of complaining about it. I decided to be a bus driver because I wanted to help out. I think a lot of times we sit around and we look around about um, what needs to be done and we always look to someone else to get it done, right? Maybe yes, the city needs yes, to do this yes. or the district needs to do that or my HOA should get this done. I think that we can step up and do things that need to be done. And this was something small. It started small, and I, I just was gonna drive the, the morning. But I enjoyed it so much that now I drive the morning and the afternoon. I take seven kids to school, and I take them all home, and I love it. Danes is a welcome addition to the team, but the district has about 50 open bus driver spots and could use your help. He says the job is tough, but rewarding. When you get outside your comfort zone and you get outside of your routine that you do every day, not only can you find a lot of joy in that and adventure, but you can really help out and help your community. I take a lot of pride in knowing that I'm the guy who transitions them from their home to school. I get them ready to go into school and to learn and to, and to be in that institution and grow. And I get them ready for it. We, we talk, we spell, we count, we do math, and we, we sing songs, and we listen to music, and we have a good time, and, and, and I get them going. I, I love that story. I love these people so much. Uh, look who's joining us now. We're in the yellow bus, ladies and gentlemen. Rick and his instructor, Frank. Guys, good morning. Good morning. We, we were just all talking about, hey, back in our days, we fit in these things a little bit better. <laughs> now it's like I have to sit sideways. My legs don't fit and everything else. Mm. Uh, Rick, thanks for being here. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah. Are you done with the route today, by the way? Done obviously? with the route. Did it success. Everyone's there safely. Uh, when when I, I was telling you in that story that when I, I've seen it a bunch, obviously, and, and getting ready for this. and. Every time you see Eli kind of running up to you with that look of surprise, and he says, "Hi, Daddy." He does hi, Dad. Oh, Rick! I like I couldn't take it. Yeah. What, what, what was that like for you? That that moment, that feeling? It's hard to put into words watching the video. It know? was hard keeping it a secret. Yeah, but it was more difficult. Just the anxiety building sure. up to the moment. I wasn't sure how we would react on that very first day. I knew how he would react down the road. Yeah, like yeah. the next day and the next day when he knew he'd, that I was coming. But that sure. first day. Um, it was priceless, really. You, you kind of see in his face that the, I mean, the door opens up, and and you come out, and he's like, "Wait, what?" He had no clue. What? He had. That's the best surprise, <laughs> like the best surprise ever, right? Yeah. Does it? He must still talk about it. Like, wait a minute, this is now every day. Well, I mean, he he, he has Down syndrome and autism, and yeah. and he certainly remembers that, but it's not yeah. a part of the like daily sure, conversation. Sure. But he, he 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 we do talk about it. Daddy's my bus driver. Aww. He loves it. It's great. Where did the idea come from? I know what you said and when we interviewed you and you're like, well, you know, there was a need and I'm like, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm going to do something about it, which is commendable. Uh, but did you actually think I could actually drive one of these things? I mean, you know, it takes some getting used to as we'll get to Frank in a minute. Right. So all all kinds of different bus drivers have been coming to our house for years. Sure. So we get to know them and they're really good people, dynamic, they're fun. Um, and I thought, you know what? There's a shortage. Why not step yeah. up and help yeah. them out? Wow. If I can do uh, it. <laughs> almost, really, almost anybody can do it. Yeah. Frank, 
So you kind of helped train this guy a little bit, yeah? yeah uh, I mean, there, the need is there. We said in the story, um, you know, the, it's heartwarming and everything else, but not everybody can do what Rick did. And there are 50, I think, positions that are still open and still needed for bus drivers to take kids to school. Uh, what's going on with that right now? Well, it's uh, supply and demand. I yeah. mean, a lot of people left the industry, okay? And uh, fewer people have gotten back into it. Sure. Once we were behind, then it's a matter of catch up. And we could easily use 50 more drivers. Wow. Even though it sounds like a big number, yeah. it's a real number. It, it really is. And those kids depend on that to get to and from school. Uh, what do you, uh, if you're, what, what's a good candidate to have? Was somebody calling you? Somebody's like, <laughs> Frank, you're on TV. <laughs> if a kid in your bus, the phones go off all the time, don't they, Frank? Uh, the kids yeah. nowadays? As a matter of fact, the <laughs> phones turn up being a, a really good babysitter sometimes. <laughs> keeps them That's occupied. That's very true. You know? uh, talk to me about the candidates, because when Rick comes up to you and says, this is what I'm going to do, uh, what do you need to be a good candidate for a bus driver? A good candidate, um, first, a uh, good attitude. You got to have a great attitude attitude. Rick, um, check. Check. Yeah. This guy check, check. Mark. Yeah, yeah. It even <laughs> says that on the sheet, actually. <laughs> Does attitude. it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, good driving record. Of course. Obviously. Check. Clean, check. You know. clean background check. Check. You know. And uh, then a lot of energy, uh, compassion, yeah, yeah. Um, interest, that's, that's understanding. Important. I mean, all the, I mean, you, you have people's children and you're transporting them to and from safely. That compassion, yep. understanding goes a long way. That's Absolutely. what makes a lot of our best favorite bus drivers, that's why they stay with us and into adulthood. You remember your favorite bus driver and this and that. I hear that you know? often. Yeah. That they'll yeah. remember the bus driver before their teachers. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> you, you guys are awesome. So we appreciate everything you guys do. And Rick, obviously what you did is commendable. I think it's gonna inspire a lot of people. Where's Eli, by the way? What's he in school? Yeah, he is. He's in uh, summer of school. course, you, dro you dropped him off at summer, summer school. Dropped him off at summer uh, school. It, it's, what time do you have to pick him up? Um, 11.45. Well, that's, it's a short day, it's summer school. Yeah, summer like school. a half day type thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats. Thank, well, thank, thank you so you. much. Keep up the good work. Uh, and setting that great example for everybody. Appreciate really it. Really appreciate it. Yep. Frank? Well, I'm just going to say, come on out here and apply, and uh, we'll, we'll train you to be a champion at Poway we'll Unified. will train you. Yes, sir, at Poway Unified, we which we love. We're a team. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you both. Yeah. What an honor. Uh, by the way, turn off that phone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'll be in detention later. <laughs> detention for Frank. You want to look at, here's your, here's your punishment. You have to look at the camera and say, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Excellent work, Frank. See that? <laughs>